Hello, my name is Mike Reed. Today is August 12th, 2023. And I'm trying to do a short video on a few of the items in small and specialty grocery stores, some delis and butcher shops. We're gonna introduce you to a brand that's it's called Torre. And they've recently made a purchase of a couple other a couple other lines, which is called Pro Cut, Pro Cut and Pro Cold. Right. So if you stay with me, let me let me introduce you to to this brand and how it can help you get into small grocery stores, little um, the Italian grocery stores, the Polish grocery stores, the German grocery stores your Mexican grocery stores, and your African grocery stores. Now, I want to put out a big thank you to the donation from Melisande Manning. Thank you very much for that. That makes this video possible for today. Hopefully, this will help you. And uh, hopefully this will help others. Let's see here. Let me let me put you out there. Thank you very much for your donation. So now, without further ado, I'm going to jump right into this this video about Torre. And Torre is a is a multinational corporation. They have mixers meat tenderizers, sausage stuffers, all this kind of stuff. But they have refrigeration. So much so that they, they're uh, actually a pretty big name when it comes to the deli cases. So whenever you go into a, a butcher shop or to, uh, to a grocery store and they have the, the, meat, and the fish, meat and the fish section, you're going to see a display case similar to this. Now they come in different sizes. And then this is just the, this is just a cabinet. It's just a cabinet. Now the, the compressor and the condenser coil, condenser fan moil, motor and all that, that, that is separate at the bottom. And how these work is they use a, use, they use just an evaporator coil. Well, they call it a gravity coil. At the at the mounted to the top of the unit, with a couple of thermistors sticking into it, and then the cold air is designed where it's run the refrigerant through the through the gravity coil, and then that cold air drifts down and it covers the meat with a constant blanket of cold air. And this is so you don't dry out the meat using fans, and so you don't dry out the meat with um, you know just too too much air period, just too much air. So typically you're going to find these things are 220 volt. Typically you're going to find them 404. Now you're going to, you're going to find 134A, you're going to find 404. And then even, I've even just found that they have some uh, 290s floating out there. Now I'm going to breeze through Tory a little bit. So here's, I'm going to start with something that People are going to be relate to, All right? So this is the, these are the typical refrigeration that you're going to find with the fans, door switches. Their controller is a little different. And the other lines that they have, the controller is a different one. This controller that they have is proprietary. This controller, uh, you can get it from Parstown. All of this stuff comes to parts out. And here's what the the condenser looks like mounted down at the bottom. I want to say 95% of their units have bottom mount condensers. All right, so here's your drain pan, your condenser fan motor, your condenser coil, and the compressor is back there. 95, I don't, I don't remember ever seeing one that was top mounted. I want to say all of them. Were um, were bottom mount, and likewise, I'm going to say 75% of the ones you're going to find are going to be 220. 
they do have a few out there that are 110. So this this uh, this equipment here allows a small grocery store to have the same meat deli case that your large grocery stores have. Your Publix, your Kroger's, your Jewel, your, well, they don't have Dominix anymore. Um, your Piggly Wiggly, Win Dixie, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So they also have the the uprights. They have a large number of uprights. They come in, in double, come in single, single and double door. And so these these are just refrigeration. They have merchandisers. They have glass door. They have the glass door freezers. And in your ethnic stores, that's when you're going to find a lot of a lot of food that's that's stuffed in there. That leg of lambs or whole fish that you'll find in there. Snapper, tilapia, all that kind of stuff. You're you're going to find that in these type of units. And it doesn't matter if it is a if it is a um, a small Mexican grocery store, small African, small uh, German, or any any of those type of things, you're going to find Tory is in a lot of these places. Now I'm going to jump over. I'm going to jump over to to some of the other stuff that they have, and as I'm doing this, I am going to. Show you this, also stating that I'm going to give you the name of a contact over there, Torre and Procold. Now, Torre is in the driver's seat, so anything you're dealing with with on the Procold name, you're going to be going through Torre as far as payment, as far as parts and things of that nature. But you have everything you need for a grocery store. Using, using Torre and Pro Cold slash this kind of stuff is Pro Cut. Here is the the van saws, and they have these. Not only do they have these in grocery stores and butcher shops, they actually have these in restaurants. I deal with some seafood restaurants; they have these, and I deal with some uh, uh, some some restaurants that serve a lot of meat. They they'll do their own cuts of meat and it's better for them to just do it themselves. And so they will, they use these band saws. Yes. They use these meat band saws. So they have the same switches. Like you see, it's waterproof. They have the same switches, like what you have in the mixers, same switches, like what you have in some of the mixers. And uh, here's the, uh, it's very sim simple with the tensioning and all that stuff. It's designed to be cleaned. So don't worry about going in there and it's disgusting or nasty and that kind of stuff. You, they're they're going to be clean. The health department comes in and make sure that they're clean. Two twenty volt for these units. You you will run across the belts for these units that are worn out and that causes faults. It causes trips. You're going to need to service that. And let me give you some other stuff. They have slicers. I'm going to try to speed this up because I know I can go on for like six hours. This is going to try to limit this to a few minutes. Here's your meat slicers. So this is a good entryway into meat slicers. This is the one with the scale. And now I'm going to tell you that too. They have scales. So price counting scales. So this is everything that your butcher shops delis and the in your grocery stores have for weighing out that food product whether like i said whether it's fish pork lamb beef goat you can do it with torre now let me flash over i'm gonna flash you some information here and this is the contact information for torre I want to thank you guys for watching this long. I appreciate that. And as I, well, here's some information if you guys want to donate. And as I flash over, what I'm going to be flashing over to is the Pro Cold and the Pro Cut. 
So bear with me one second. I had all this queued up and now it is hiding from me. Here you go. So here's the 800 number, 1-800-867-7391. If you don't get through, do not be discouraged. They're not exactly the best when answering the phone. Dean, and yes, his name is Dean Martin. Dean, his email address is dean.martin at A-L-P-U-N-T-O-F-S dot com. This is the most recent email address for Dean. Uh, they've switched over from the previous one that was Dean Martin at, it was dean.martin at torre.net. So now they've switched over to this one. This is the, the last correspondence I've had with him within the last six months or so has been with this email address. So I'm going to leave this up and then we're going to flash on over to Procold. And here it is. Here's Procold. Now, most of the stuff you saw, you have one year. And uh, like I said, on the refrigeration, you have two. Now, I'm going to preface this with saying that when you have units like the deli cases, they are not warranting the refrigeration because it does not come with the refrigeration. The customer has to supply that. Customer supplies the refrigeration unit, the contention unit. So you open this up here, and then it, there's another set of shelves down there, but this is where the compressor is located inside this, this unit here. They are very straightforward units. These are their uprights. Now you're going to see the Pro Cold in the grocery stores, and you will see Pro Cold being used by one of the drink manufacturers, one of the drink um, companies. If not all three. So this is being used by them as well. As you see, they have an 832 number. That 832 is Texas. That 832 is Houston, Texas. And if you take a look here, 832-564-2903. You also have ProCut, 832-564-2904. So you are actually going to be calling Houston where I am. So don't worry about don't worry about uh, any of that information. It, it's, I know it's kind of hard to get a hold of find them. They don't readily give up their address and things like that unless you know where to look. See, at ProCut, we are proud to to manufacture our products in North America and export them to other over forty countries. By North America, they mean Mexico, All right? It's right on the border, right there, right there with the United States. But Canada, United States, and Mexico is North America. That's the NAFTA free trade agreement. So they can manufacture in Mexico and bring it up. So they just say North America. People see that and they like, ah, oh, they, um, they automatically think America. So back to the slicers. Here we go. So they have the slicers that you need. I don't know if you guys are aware, Subway is putting in slicers in all their units, all their location. So it's belt-driven, gear-driven, so you can get exposure to slicers. You can get exposure to meat grinders, of all different types. Of course, the band saws. And so you've seen this with the Torre. And so what they did was they split this stuff up. Pro Cold is refrigeration. Pro Cut is a lot of the stuff that they use for the in the in the meat section. So you can sign up with Torre. You will be set up with all of your other brands. And there's four in total. 
I think the other one is the scale. The other one is the scale. So I'm going to show you and I'm going to show you the flipping over to the pro gold. So pro gold has so now you've seen the the slicing, the grinding, and in the refrigeration. They don't have any hot side. And here you go. Here's the deli pitcher with the cheese and the meat. You have your option. If you inherit one of these grocery stores, you have the ability to put in all new condensers and all that stuff. You, you almost never change these deli cases. So the warranty itself is on the actual frame of the deli case, might be on the door glides, lighting, transformers, LED drivers, that type of thing. It's not on the refrigeration. The customer had to buy the refrigeration separately. Or in some cases, you might even have put that in. So, now you've seen ProCut. I'm going to show you. Here's the pizza. They're big in pizza. So, everything still applies. The scales, the grinders, the cutters, and then the refrigeration. That is all ProCut, ProCold, and Torre is the parent company. It is, as you saw before, manufactured in North America, which is actually Mexico, which I, I actually prefer. I have better experience with the stuff made in Mexico than elsewhere. And then the, these things are shipped in 40 different countries. So with the Pro Cold, they actually have a different controller. That is the only difference you're really going to find. They actually have a different controller. Let me see if I can find one for you. Let's go into this worktop. So you can't even see it. It is a regular controller. I want to say it's like a Corel controller. It is a regular standard controller. Nothing special like the Tory controller. Tory controller is different in the fact that the sensors are all in one. Everything is all wired in and you can't make any changes. Can't make any changes with it. But they have a full suite. So you have your walk-in. And I don't know if anybody's if heard me mention, here's the controller. I don't know if anyone's heard me mention in previous uh, videos that I've seen this design. And I couldn't put my finger on where I saw that design from. And that's because Tory is the original manufacturer and they, they're the OEM supplier to other people. Once again, they're saying 134A. You're not going to run into 134A on these type of units. On these type of units, you're going to run into your 290. These are going to be R290. This is a... That just needs to be updated. So, here's your... Here's your deli cases, just like we saw before. There's all the, there's everything that you that you saw before. So once again, these are not set up for pastry. These are not set up for ice cream. These are only for protein. Your meat, your fish, your chicken, your pork. These are only for protein. Once you sign up with this, let me go back here. Once you sign up with this, then you have full access to a lot of small grocery stores that are really underserved. So I'm approaching the 20 minute mark. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this up within the next minute by saying that you can email Dean your information or you can call them Monday through Friday. They do have tech support. The parts are available through Partstown. They actually will send you parts on a warranty claim. They pay the warranty claim. It isn't handled by some outside party. They're actually handling it themselves. And with that, I hope this helps. I wanna thank you all for subscribing to the channel. I wanna thank all of you who have donated. I wanna thank you all who who religiously watch the channel. I want to thank you all the comment.
I'm going to put some more of these off to the side because Pro Cold Torre is just one of about four or five different brands that you're going to find in these small grocery stores. So thanks again for watching and uh, be ready for the next one. Thank you so much for your support.